I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Henry Dwayne Jeffries Mosley was born was born on November 23rd, 1887, in Weymouth, Dorset, United Kingdom. As a young boy, Mosley was a very promising student at the Summerfield School. He later received a King's Scholarship to go to Eastern College. Later, in 1906, he enrolled at Trinity College, which was part of the University of Manchester. Then later, in 1910, after he graduated from Trinity, he enrolled in grad school at the University of Manchester. While there, Mosley worked under the close supervision of scientists like Ernest Rutherford. In 1913, after Mosley's work with X-ray spectra, he was given a law dedicated to him. His law stated that the square root of the frequencies of lines in atomic X-ray spectra depends linearly on the atomic number of the emitting atom. This helped to contribute to the modern day theory of the atom by showing that an element is defined by its number of protons, also known as its atomic number. After this scientific breakthrough, Mosley peaced from the University of Manchester to continue his research at Oxford where he was offered a job. When World War I broke out in 1914, Mosley turned down his job offer at Oxford in order to enlist in the British Army. Mosley served as a technical officer in communications during the Battle of Gajipoli in Turkey beginning in April 1915. Unfortunately, on August 10th, 1915, Mosley got shot in the head by a Turkish sniper while in combat. After his death, the British government instituted a new policy regarding science. This stated that prominent and promising scientists were no longer allowed to enlist for combat duty in the armed forces of the Crown. This showed scientists a lot of respect from the British government. However, unfortunately, Mosley died without any kids and without a wife when he was only 27 due to his military service to his country. Moss's research greatly impacted our understandings of the atom and helped change people's understanding of the atomic number. By the way, thank you Mr. Mosley. Thank you.